hi a uh, good morning uh, let us discuss today topic is how to how we can create the work order in oracle fusion manifest okay for that uh, we need to go the let's go home page okay in the home page go to supply chain execution supply chain execution go to work execution in our execution make sure we select you know uh, appropriate uh, manufacturing organization means a manufacturing plant here if not then by using the change organization then we can click here and we can uh, uh, select the appropriate uh, manufacturing plant so then here uh, there is a icon here uh, right side is the tasks icon and click the task icon click manage uh, work orders here just uh, click the so i'm taking uh, uh, you know item existing item okay is double six four seven four double. Okay. Just I'm taking this side up. The one. I just I'm doing the one quantity. I'm creating the work order for one quantity. If you want to see more information and uh, what are the work definition and what is the status what status it's a uh, you know work order is creating and all so just click the more and it will uh, show you that uh, it's a standard work order okay so item quantity we gave that uh, status is the unreleased status we are creating work order and the start date it's coming by default and the work definition it's coming the by default based on that uh, priority uh, production priority which we uh, have you know work definition you can find you know uh, in this channel that what how we can create the work definition okay in oracle fusion manufacturing okay so this are the information we can see just save and edit click the save and edit Work order created with unreleased status. This is the work order. Yeah. Okay. So here, just I'm making a note the work order and item as well. Let me make make a note that item. Okay. So here, what is the start date and completion date and uh, okay and production information item description and here there is work definition what is work definition what is the date and all the what is the version of this work order sorry work definition and here the item structure what is the item structure name and if do we have any revisions if we have any revisions and the revisions and other details if also what is the you know uh, or order the standard work order and uh, what is the work method i mean either discrete manufacturing or process manufacturing and what is the scheduling method and uh, so we have this right uh, so different type of the scheduling methods i will come uh, in coming videos i will uh, explain that scheduling method and what is the completion details i mean so once it's done the completion right so what are the what is the supply you know or type i mean from where we are you know uh, getting that product material from where we are getting uh, you know, components so that one is uh, based on the work definition so based on the work definition okay supply type so, so do we have the different type of the supply types and that what is the you know or push assembly pull and operation pull bulk and supplier so here I'm selecting this based on the work definition. I mean, while creating the work definition, what is the supply type we gave that supply type automatically it will default here. 
and here completion sub inventory it is uh, uh, you know uh, once it's done uh, you know once it's uh, completed that work order so where we go to in which sub inventory uh, you know this finished food will place so that is the completion sub inventory okay if we have this any tolerance right over completion under completion and all so we can give that our tolerances here I'm not giving here any the tolerances and all details, just uh, no, just basic details I give. Uh, I gave and I'm going to create the I created the account. Then, if it's a general information, if you click this operations right, operation tab, so we have this you know, for this item, we have the oh, this finish food, we have oh, three operations. We can call this all the three operations and these are the items each operations so what are the components is required those information it will show here and uh, what are the resource to complete that operation right so we have the what are the resources and all if you see here we can click this items so these are the seven items is required so here in seven items there are you know what are the required or uh, no quantity for comp you know for quantity then this one it will required quantity it's showing and what is the required date when it will come what is the supply type here we can give here and we can override this and from where it's this sub you know these components we are getting so from sub inventory from which sub inventory we are getting this component so this one it will show you here and all this information okay and uh, see here resources so here so you know uh, we to complete this operation TASI tablet assembly so these are the operation name not TASI you know TASI tablet assembly to complete this operation we need uh, you know this series or these two resources okay these two resources what is the usage rate and what is the you know charging that you know how much the hours this required uh, you know resource uh, effort right so that one and uh, what is the charge type and what is the charging what how much we are charging and all so everything is here. click that okay so like that so we have you know uh, three operations so each operation okay if we have any count point here if you see this operation count point uh, five, uh tenth operation is the count point and if you see this uh, tw 20th operation is the automatical transact and again it's a 30 13th is uh you know uh operation is the count point. so where we have the count point uh operation those operations we need to complete them manually okay in application so if it's automatically transact right so then uh, it's automatically let's say for example here right tenth operation is the auto account point so definitely we need to do that manually we need to complete that uh, you know uh, tenth operation once it's a tenth operation is the complete then our twentieth operation automatically it will complete and again right uh, 13th operation is a since it's, uh, we need to do we need to complete them manually so since uh, it's a uh, you know uh, that operation is a count point okay so uh, before that right uh, we can go here general operation i'm changing uh, you know we need to change that then only we can able to process the next step is the once it's auto created with unreleased status then we need to change the strategies to from the unreleased to release and then save okay see successfully it's saved then copy this we need to go the next step so here the go again go the task list here which is there in right side and click the review dispatch list and this review dispatch list by default automatically it got the uh, okay uh, such parameters right so by default it's a work area is a tablet and status is ready with this status what are the you know uh, with this such a uh, parameter right what are the 
uh, work orders is available those are work orders shown okay uh, just i'm clicking the complete uh, all also same see other also is gone. so our work order is that you know of 54 uh, 1054 then i'm clicking that one zero or uh, so i'm expanding this okay see here it is a completed uh, quantity is the one I mean one quantity I'm we are going to complete and there is a two options here this one is a quick complete and there is the you know uh, uh, complete with the details so let's see uh, with the complete with the details okay here right there is a chain it will come that production details it will it will show you here all the one ready and completion what is the how many quantity if you want to print automatically labels then we need to you know, we can enable that subprint label checkbox here i am not going to you know enable that print label uh, checkbox just i am going to this okay click the next so these operations we need uh, this many components so, okay so since it's you know supply type is the uh, you know operation complete right so automatically definitely it will uh, you know transact that all components are no, not required to manually you know select the component and uh, you know, issue the material uh, issue the components so then click the next this is the we are issue i mean uh, we are transacting the resources so resources also it's automatically it will be you know transacting then save on this okay so here right uh, so it's uh, done you have completed the quantity of the operation 10 we see here this message clearly saying that you have completed the one quantity each at operation 10 for the work out the next operation is the 30 at the work center tablet back so you see uh, why it's not showing this 20th operation because uh, the 20th operation auto transact right that's why it's automatically that operation is completed okay so if you see a uh, work order you know work order transaction history okay so here again you can go here review transaction history review production transaction history okay and you can give that work order number and click the search see here operation complete 10th operation is completed and 10th operation resources charging charged i mean we have since we have the two operations right uh, sorry two resources so two resources is done and material issues are done okay so this all the operation see all those things happened only for that operation 10. and it will not show the 20th because it's automatically transferred so next so we need to complete the 20th operation right so again this is the top network area again it done okay then again it just expand this see earlier it was you know uh, assemble tablet assembly assembly now it's a you know, tablet packing this is the second uh see here this is the 13th operation here by default, here it's the work order, right? It, it will show you work order if one is a 30. That is that uh, up to 54 is the work order, and 30 is this number is the last after uh, you know after this if one it will be the operation. Okay, so let's just uh, click the complete with the details. Okay, so here uh, let me just uh, let me cancel here. I will show you one more thing here. Yes see here uh if we have any you know uh inspection so it's a instruction enabled for the whip inspection enabled so i will show you next uh, video then uh, how we can create the inspection at all okay fine uh, just complete with the details and see here this uh, you can uh, you know observe the top product information and all here then click the next so, since here the 13th operation see here this operation is 30 
and uh, here right so we do not have any components uh, for the 13th operation so just uh just click that and but we have the uh, you know uh, uh, this one resources then click the next see sub entry then save it. Done. see you have completed quantity one of the operations you know 13 to sub entry completed the work order here it's clearly say okay and work order also it's uh, showing that with completed shifts earlier it was ready now it's a with the completed states and if you see here uh manage work orders right so here also if you see our work order if you query that work order here see with completed status or product done with completed state and we can see the history uh, work order history here itself here also in work order as well see here history go the history see what we have done earlier it was you know once we create the work order its uh, status was you know unreleased now we change it from unreleased to released then again uh, from the release to we have done the completed the status i mean we have the, done the completed uh, work we have done complete the work order then it's then if you see the transaction history we can see here the transaction it will redirect to the page that the review complete uh, review production transaction history okay either from from work order page uh view history okay we can go from there or as directly in task list we have this review from production transactions see here if you see uh yes see 13th one resource charges and 20th one we have the resource charges and 30th one production completely manually we have the operation showing so everything okay so that's all uh, how we can complete the work order then if you want to close work order then uh, we can uh, you know close work orders we can uh, run this uh, work order uh, you know from under two and we can run this you know program it automatically it will complete it from the it will pick from the completed status let's see what how we can do Okay, and completed status. Then I'm submitting this. Okay, so it's yes, a job. It's uh, running background. So for the tools, go to tools and. Uh, in tools there is a scheduled process in scheduled process see it succeed mass close work order if you have this you know more than uh, uh if you have the bulk orders right so we can give that range work order range and what is the status so we need to fetch to close the work order then those information we can give and we can run this you know <laughs> close work order let's see work order status now for the home page supply chain execution for the task manager orders here yeah, just select so all so it's got closed okay thank you thank you we will see in next video bye